Thank you so much for staying with us. This is Journalist Hangouts on Sunday, and I have been speaking, hanging out with Babaji De Koladio Totoju and Chris Kendi Uwandu. We're still in Ekiti State, as the state is regarded as the hub of intellectuals. So outburst over disagreements on programs and policies will be a pastime for the people. The immediate past governor of the state, Kayo Defiame, has criticized a legal icon and senior advocate of Nigeria, SAN. Are Afeba Malola for saying previous governors of the state abandoned the vision of those who labored for its creation. Paimi said Babalola is partisan in his review of his administration as a 94 year old lawyer has not been his supporter, even during his terms as the governor of the state. He added that the view of the respected lawyer cannot be the yardstick to measure his performance and those of others who served as a Kitty State governors. We killed kick off with this. Uh, where do you stand? Hmm. I honestly do not support abusing elders, especially a legend in the mold of um, Baba Afe Babaola. It's been such a tremendous success in so many areas. You can see even when he moved into uh, education philanthropy. It's made a success of it. It's, it's, um, his university is uh, clearly one of the best three private universities in Nigeria today. Uh, he was one of those who pushed hard for the creation of a Kitty State where was privileged to become a governor. But I've always disagreed with people who simply say, oh, that governor didn't do anything. As someone who travels a lot within our country, I've seen governors that they told me were failures, didn't do anything, who turned out by my assessment to be good governors in terms of what they've done. Some people do not even try to do any form of critical assessment. They will just conclude that ah, he has not done anything, it's a failure. You cannot say Fao she didn't do anything. Before Fao she there was nothing like a dual carriageway in the whole of Ekiti. No dual carriageway. It was Fao she that kick started dual carriageway before he was illegally impeached in 2006. He had gone far with the uh, dual carriageway. And the next administration eventually um, completed those dual carriageways. Before Fire said there was no overhead bridge in Ekiti. Today they have an overhead bridge. You can't say it didn't do anything. It's impossible for a governor to be in office for four years and you will say it didn't do anything. But maybe they didn't do enough. No, who's, who, by, by whose assessment? A lot of these remarks are usually influenced by politics. Yeah. I've had friends who said, what did Tinobu do in Lagos? I've had friends. Today, some of them say, no, he didn't do anything. It was Fashola that did all the work. <laughs> yes, they say that. Many of them don't know that it was actually Tinubu that brought BRT to Lagos. They give the credit to someone else. When you don't even have sufficient knowledge about the people that we are talking about, you conclude that they didn't do anything. So I disagree with Baba, I favor Allah, who said, he didn't mention names. Mm -hmm. But he concluded that others didn't do anything. No matter how you feel about the man who is there now, there is no gain in diminishing those who are there before him. We are happy. We told Ebanji, Ebanji in public prostrated Not many governors will do that because they see themselves as the repository of the respect of their states. I may not want to go to that extent. But this one is anomalous personified 
the way he does his things, others will see it as unorthodox. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that the people before him never did anything. We talk about social welfare scheme in our country. Some states are doing it now. Even the conditional cash transfer. Who started it? Was, it was a Fahimi that started doing this first time. In fact, on the first day, on the day he was sworn in, it was Fahimi. On the day he was sworn in, he announced it. Right? On the day he was sworn in, in 2010, he announced that cash transfer for the poor the widows, and all that. So people, you can't just dismiss people that they didn't do anything. Now, um, Fahemi said he does not like uh, talking down on elders, but some of what he said here, you give it to him, he has a way with the English language. He speaks language as if his uh, grandfather invented the language. But... Some of what he said, <laughs> I doubt if you can say that you have not, <laughs> that uh, he said um, um, about like suffering from a narcissistic personality mm -hmm. disorder. Fire me. Fire me. Was Fire me that said it? Yes, now we are talking about Fire me. What is what I don't think Fire she has responded yet. <laughs> Leave, uh, we are not talking about Fire she now. Fire me also said it is important for people to know that. This is malicious and not a dispassionate and objective assessment. He also said, uh, Babaola is an old man, and one should grant him the indulgence of failing memory that comes with age. You see, when you say all that, and you said you don't want to abuse an old man, <laughs> what is it that you have, have done? done? <laughs> one thing that we cannot deny is the fact that there were issues between them. And if you are not happy with an individual, it colors your judgment. Mm -hmm. That is the thing. It colors your judgment. It, it, you won't be able to assess that person dispassionately. One, Fahemi said Shegmoni was Baba Febawa's last candidate in 2007. That election was massively read in favor of Shegwoni. Fahemi took back his mandate in 2010. Baba Febola was Shegwoni's lawyer. Oh, yeah. So he kind of explained why it would be difficult for anyone to expect Baba to objective in analyzing him. He also talked about the, you know, even the land on which Baba Febola's uh, university was built was given to him by Shegoni. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, when you tie everything with the, everybody with the same brush, and you say all governors before Oyebanji didn't live up to the vision of the elders, the same Shegoni that you supported in 2007, that gave you the land on which you built that school, you have already categorized him among those failures. Mm. Maybe, that was Maybe why without I knowing it. Eh? Maybe that was why I didn't mention No, when you so say everybody be before, uh, every, they would, he knows that. That one would know that he has added him now. You don't have to mention. If I say uh, everybody in this room is a fool, we we'll see KN say that it's not one of them. If I go behind and tell him you're not fair, you're not fair. You, I say everybody in this uh, studio, including the, the camera cameraman, uh, uh, Omisore, he's also a fool. <laughs> That's the way it is. You cannot say then. The there was something that uh, Baba, I mean that Kade uh, Fahemi also said. He mentioned that when they were going to build the airport, airport. Baba wanted the airport. No doubt about it. That because students, you know that airport is not far from the school. The students will have benefited a lot more from it than others. So he said when they wanted to build the airport, Baba said, ah, let me build the terminal building so that it can be named after me. Mm -hmm. He said he explained to him that, look, we signed a bond. And part of it 
includes the that uh, terminal building. We cannot. There is no way we can um, allow you to build the terminal because it's part of the bond that we signed with the white people. You said Baba was not happy about that. He then suggested to him that he could build the airport you know, and have it named after, I think, in the end, I think he agreed to build, I mean, the car park, he agreed to build the car park. The point that I'm making is, every time Baba speaks in this manner, for I mean, who is the first governor in the Kitty State history to actually successfully install a successor? believes that they are referring to him. The Yorubas will say, Tobanko wefwe wa amon. If I'm using a mustache now, in this studio I sit here, and I use mustache to uh, do parable, there's no way that uh, uh, <laughs> Sike will not know that I'm referring to him. That's true. Because you, you don't have mustache. <laughs> so yeah. I think he always feels that this Baba, <clears throat> That those uh, and it's like he had been patient for too long. He then said, "I will not take it anymore. I will not allow him to con con continue to control this narrative." But in my view, there is no need for this. Every governor will play his part. Every governor will play his part, and it's even difficult to compare governors because the circumstances are usually different. Look at Baba Konde, for example, when he was governor. He didn't have the resources that governors have today. He didn't have it. Mm. Yet, some of what he did, including the secretariat in uh, uh, Washington State, is there for all to see. They kicked him out of office. They didn't like him because he was not sharing any money. Mm. So, when we compare governors, compare leaders, we have to, we must try our best to be objective because the circumstances are usually not the same. the same. And as I said earlier, I do not agree that all those governors were failures. All right. Mm. Sikia, is this a malicious assessment from you? Personally, I believe and uh, left to me as a leader, I, I don't expect former governor of Parliament to reply and that statesman uh, after Babalala. Personally, that is me. There's no controversy. There's no need. Even if he said all the governors in the former governor, pardon me, it's not the only former governor of a state. Yeah, he may be aggrieved. And based on some of the issues he has raised, he felt that this is a bit political and um, that the man um, never liked him, mm. even when as a governor, that he, he supported his opponent, uh, former governor Ni. He was a counselor to former governor and the rest of the. But he said the man did not specify. If he had said um, um, former governor fire me, did not do anything, then you can take him on one on one. This is a 94 year old man. And this is not the first time Afebala is talking. It's not just about Ekiti State, even Nigeria generally. You've seen once in a while um, talking about issues, controversial, raising controversial issues as in, within the politics. But it's, it's like. Um, Former President Ulusegun Gwan Basanjo <laughs> standing and now saying something that you say you are replying of. Most of them are not. Baba has been writing letters. And you see some, where those letters are going to show. Reply, yes. People reply. I, 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 that's what I'm saying. No. Yeah. In fact, no, those that Baba has stepped that those that were replying, the former government, every time Baba wrote a letter, they replied him. But I don't think that if Baba writes a letter immediately about the current government, I doubt if so we uh, get uh, people like if if he tries to write a letter, uh, you think people like Baba Nanuga will leave him alone? Uh, probably they won't but, leave but, him alone yeah. because they know he's an opinion yeah. holder. Yeah, so but and they will influence opinion. I agree, but the fact what I'm saying in a sense is that Baba has stated what he said. But something you cannot take away from him, and that is where I want us. Let us leave the messenger and go for the message. He's talking about infrastructure. He's talking about this. The fact is that you cannot take away what him, as a 94-year-old man, has done in a kit. It's verifiable. One of the best private universities in Nigeria is in a kit. He could have taken that to, he could have brought it to Lagos. Yes, mm -hmm. where I think he can probably make more money. It's possible. After Babylon, 
Ape Babala Teaching Hospital is one of the best in the country presently. In terms of repairs. Yeah, very good in medical. I'm telling you, in terms of medical, he's one of the best. And the funniest part is that this is a man that made his name in law. His law faculty. Hmm. I read law. And I know what most of the faculties in Nigerian universities. His law faculty is one of the best in the country presently. At the law school, if you look at graduates from Avebala, their performance at the law school. You can't, you, you can't. So what I'm saying is, is he himself can say, oh, you are okay. If you say you have done, show me one world class hospital that you built as a governor of a state. Those, those are verifiable. You know what I'm saying? So that is why I said this is just no, absolutely not. But is it what um, a former governor is what you call a work on journalism right of reply. Mm. So he has given his right of right. reply and he has made the, um, the whether Baba will now reply him again, no, is just what, but I don't think that this is, it, it, all this is just necessary. All right, gentlemen. Maybe, maybe the, um, it will end at this point. That is what I'm I saying. I also right. think that, you know, um, Prime Minister strategy, a strategist is uh, um, very solid in war strategies and all that. He must have done this as a deterrence so that the old man doesn't continue to say it. Because he said this is not the first time. And he believes that he is the target of this brickbat. Remember, Fayoshi being impeached during his first term illegally. Mm -hmm. Baba Afebola was part of those who instigated that impeachment. Impeachment of Fayoshi? Yes. Mm -hmm. By the time Fayoshi came back during the second term, they became friends. They became close to the man. Faemi was also claiming that Baba was one of those who petitioned the EFCC to say that there was no airport. And then the EFCC invited him. <laughs> so this is a conflict between two men. Some of the issues involved we may not even know. That's true. Because Faemi, since he left office, is hardly talked. Yeah. So for him to have come out in this manner and with this level of anger, I believe that maybe that TFCC matter. Exactly. Or for him to accept, Abba was one of those who wrote the petition. Maybe he has proof. <laughs> so these issues, the two of them understand these issues better than us. But I, 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 if I were in issues, I may not bother to reply, yeah, nice. honestly. Yeah. I would just leave him. But maybe he's been pushed to the wall. Maybe he did it to stop him mm -hmm. from coming. All right, gentlemen, let's move on. Uh, the last appearance of the leader of the proscribed indigenous